my favorite people, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make photo editing super fun and super easy. Now today I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to be editing a photo that I actually consider to be kind of trash. This is the photo here and we're going to edit it into something that looks like this. Very cool, kind of artsy, lots of colors going on. So I think this could be relevant for you guys because hey, you might have some gems just sitting on a hard drive somewhere uh, that you could edit up into something really, really cool. So let's get into it. All right, so today we're editing in Lightroom CC. That's the version that you can have on desktop and mobile. And here's the photo that we're gonna edit today from Palm Springs. Now in real life, this was such a cool sunset because you had the moon, there were all these gorgeous colors and it was just so cool. So I was like, I have to pull out my camera and try to get something, uh, but I failed miserably and just took this like random shot that's not really anything. Um, but let's see if we can try to save it. So the first thing you wanna do when you are trying to save a photo is crop it down to the part that is actually good. I'm gonna do Instagram five by four crop. And really the only good part about this photo is the moon here, um, which is like an awesome full moon and the palm trees. So I'm gonna kind of crop it so that the moon is in the bottom third portion of the photo and is centered up. So I think that looks, yeah, that looks good. I like it. So really the only thing that you can do with a photo like this um, is turn it into a silhouette because there's not too much interesting happening here with the trees. We've zoomed in a lot, so we've kind of lost a lot of quality, um, but turning it into kind of a silhouette, that might work. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to light. We're gonna bring down the shadows and we're gonna bring down the black points so that we really are turning those palm trees into more of a silhouette. I'm gonna bring down the shadows even more. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to contrast and just pull that up as well. And that really makes the black elements of the photo stand out. Next, we're gonna to go to the color panel. And this is where we can really do a lot to try to save this photo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm it up because I want this to be, eh, maybe not. Now, warming it is not helping, so I'm just gonna leave the temperature where it is. The color is like at a very strange point with this photo, and that's what we're gonna try to work on. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to this color grading panel. We can see the shadows, midtones, and highlights. We can kind of inject colors into those three elements, or we can go globally and we just do it across the board to the whole photo. So that's where I'm gonna start. Um, and let's try to do like more of this purpley vibe, purpley blue. Ooh, yeah, now we are finally getting somewhere. So just with that, let's look at the before. Awkward. After. We are in a way better place. Like, yeah, awkward, weird photo. Now we're kind of getting somewhere with the silhouette and all these cool colors happening. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the shadows of the color grade and I'm gonna make these more of a yellowy orange. And why I'm kind of doing that, if I'm just gonna push that all the way so you can see, is it's really affecting all the edges around um, the trees and everything. So I wouldn't do it this strong, but I'm just doing it to show you. So what it kind of looks like is it's gonna affect the elements that are the darkest points, but also how it merges into light. So I think if it has a yellowy glow, obviously not that far, but a bit of a yellowy orange glow, it'll give it that feeling that it's like the sun kind of uh, poking around it. So we're gonna give that a bit on the yellow orange. Then we're gonna go into the highlights and we're gonna give the highlights more of a true kind of blue, maybe that blue purple. So there we go, before, after, just using that color grading panel. And I think we really have helped this photo a lot at this point. So now that we see that we can totally change the colors of this image, I wanna see how we can take that further and really pump those colors up. So now I'm gonna go into the color mixer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just go along and see what happens when we change things. With the orange there, not too much really is, changing with that. So there's not really a lot of orange in this photo. Sometimes if you're not sure what something's doing, I just like really take it to an extreme to see if it has a big effect on the red. Let's see. Yeah, not too much. With those yellows, we could turn them a bit warmer. Yeah, that's nice. The greens in the image, like, so we could add 
like green in, but again, you can't really see it. So I think I'm just gonna like take away saturation on the green because I don't really want there to be any green in this photo. Now let's look at the blues and see if we can do anything kind of interesting with them. Yeah, maybe make it a bit more of a true blue on this side. So then we're gonna kind of go blue into purple. So on the yellow, we could enhance it, but we could totally change the hue to a bit more of a red pink coming down from the bottom there. That looks really good. So at this point with the colors, I think I'm happy with where we're at with that. Um, and let's move on. So when you're playing with the colors, you're gonna go back and forth a lot. I think I might put some more blue into those highlights. Maybe I'd go into the mid-tones and just add a bit of pink into them, just to kind of like, I wanna kind of have that blue to purple look but you really do have to be careful here on how you're changing things around because they all have a big impact at this point. Let's go back to the highlights and do that as a bit bluier. So now we're gonna scroll on down. We're gonna go to effects. Um, one thing you wanna do when you kind of have a photo that, you know, you might've been taking it in movement or for whatever reason, you don't find it to be super sharp do a bit of that dehaze on it. It can really, really help to sharpen an image up. I am gonna add some grain to this image to give it that like Cali nostalgic vibe um, in there. Do that dehaze. I could increase as well the clarity a bit and the texture, which actually does help quite a bit. I like it. Next, we're gonna go into detail. I always like to definitely sharpen up the photo a bit, but definitely add that masking there. And then I'm going to, I like the noise reduction, but maybe I'd add a little bit. Optics, geometry, we're not gonna do anything with that. So now at this point, what we wanna work with is this bottom part. I'm doing a few selective edits. So I'm gonna go to the healing tool uh, just over on the side there, and I'm gonna hit all these distracting parts, and we are just going to get rid of them. Anything that stands out weird, we're gonna highlight and get rid of because down here we just want basically this to be black. So it just isn't distracting. Now that I have erased all those distracting spots, let's just look at the before where we started and where we are now. This does not look like the same photo at all. Like seriously, not at all. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finesse it a bit more. We're gonna do the linear gradient. I'm gonna pull it up from the bottom and we are going to just bring down the exposure. And then what we're gonna do is jump over to the brush tool. We're gonna start a new brush here. And one of the things I'm gonna do is a tool that I really like called Defringe. If you ever notice on trees and branches or anything really where there's sort of a color hue happening around it, use the Defringe tool to get rid of it completely. Um, it just kind of helps to hide those uh, kind of just weird color banding and stuff. Um, just a good tool for that. So I'm just gonna kind of like go all around the trees with that defringe tool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start a new brush because if you guys have been sort of watching as I'm editing this, what has happened is yes, the colors, the trees, all of that standing out, but one thing is getting completely lost and that is the moon, which is arguably the coolest part of this photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in here, just Go like that, zoom in on the moon, and what I'm gonna do is put a brush completely covering the moon. And there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the exposure on it so it stands out a bit more. Maybe I'll just zoom out for this part so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna bring up the contrast. The one thing is we don't want this to look like a sun. So um, if it's just like pure white like this, it it doesn't look like it's natural to the photo anymore. So we kind of have to find that balance where we're going to bring up the exposure, maybe bring up the contrast. A great tool is the texture tool because that really, really um, will help us show a bit more of the like texture happening in the moon. Maybe bring down the shadows and the blacks a little bit and um, yeah, bring up that texture. Maybe put a little of the, make it a bit hazier over it just so it kind of like helps it to fit in. And I hit the O key just so I can see my mask overlay and unhit the O key to just view where you're at. So actually I think that that's pretty good. 
All right, so I'm really happy with where this photo is at. Of course, I could spend a ton of time just hanging out in this color panel here, tweaking colors, trying out different hues. There's a lot of options and things that you could do with this photo. But at a certain point, you just have to say, I'm happy and stop editing. So here is the before, really a photo that you would not look twice at. And then the after, which is a really cool kind of artsy silhouette vibey photo that uh, is definitely really cool and shows the power of photo editing and why we all love it. So thank you so much to you guys for watching this video and thank you for editing with me. That was tons of fun. If you liked the video, if you learned something, give it a like, leave a comment and definitely subscribe if you wanna see more Edit With Me Monday videos. All right guys, peace out, love you lots.